Next, I'm going to discuss about the trend method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function here after that coincides. So actually, I have taken integer every time variable size I have given 100. So maximum you can enter 100 elements into the array. So this is a double R. size 100 so at your next two variable int n n1 i flag n n1 i and flag So flag in is slash to zero. So whatever I'm going, so right here, print a function. So whatever in our uh, double code, so this uh, display into the output screen, enter array number, and whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value six. So this is array. So at the end value I have given 6, so total index created or uh, 0 plus 5, 6. So this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here I value start from 0. Now that check the condition 0 less than 6 condition is true. So it's kind of function. So it or out of 0 position, we have to enter some number. So I'm going to enter 7. Now here after that, go up and increase the value of i. So first time i value is 0, next that increase by 1. So i become 1. Check the condition 1 less than 6 condition is true. So it or out of 1 position, let's enter number. So I am going to give 6. Now I gonna increase by 1. So i is now 2. Check the condition 2 less than 6. Condition is 2. So it will allow 2 position. Let's enter number 8. Now i gonna increase by 1. So i is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than 6. Condition is 2. So it will allow 3 position. Let's enter number 4. Here i gonna increase by 1. So i is 4 now. Check the condition 4 less than 6, condition is 2. So 8 over 4 position, let's enter the number 12. And hereafter, i gonna increase by 1, so i is 5. Check the condition 5 less than 6, condition is 2. So 8 over 5 position, let's enter the number 8. Hereafter, i is now 6. Check the condition 6 less than 6, condition is not true, so that not coincide. Now control comes to this point. So at your printer function, slash n, when cursor comes to the new line, here after that display, enter the elements to search. So whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n1. So I'm going to enter n1 value of 4. So here i value start from 0 again. Check the condition 0 less than 6, condition is 2. So here after control comes to this point. It will out of 0 position, double equal to n1. So 0 position is 7, n1 value, I enter 4. So 7 position value is, sorry, 0 position value is 7, 7 double equal to 4, condition is not true. So that not go inside, here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i becomes 0 to 1. Now check the condition 1 less than 6, condition is true. So that coincides if a double r of 1 position double equal to n1. So n 1 position is 6, n value, n1 value 4. 6 double equal to 4, condition is not true, that not coincide. Here after i gonna increase by 1, so i is 2. So I you check the condition 2 less than 6, condition is true. So a double r 2 position is 8. So 8 double equal to uh, 4. Condition is not true, that not coincide. Here after that increase the value of i, so i is 3 now. Check the condition, 3 less than 6, condition is true. 
So that coincides. So a to the power of three position is four, and n one value is also four. Four equal to four condition is true. That coincides. Now flag become one. So that uh, that flag become one. Now next is print a function slash n. Then cursor is bring to new line. Percent d because n one value is integer and percent d at here also. So i is also integer. So this or display. Oh, uh, four is found at position i plus one. So i value is now three. Three plus one four. So output come four is found at position four. Now here after break a statement comes. So cursor comes to the control comes to the this point. So at here if flag double equal to zero. So flag is now one. So the condition is not true that not go inside here after that. Not coincide. So here after that, out for main function. Suppose if I enter n one value eight. So I do. I enter n one value eight. So I will value start from zero. Or uh, here after that, check the condition zero less than six. Condition is two. So if a double out of zero position double equal to n one. Seven so double equal to eight. Condition is not true. That not coincide. I is now become one. Check the condition. One less than six. Condition is true. So eight double out of one position double equal to n one. So six double equal to eight. Condition is not true. That not going inside. I is now two. Check the condition. Two less than six. Condition is true. So eight double out of two position double equal to n one. So two position eight is there. Eight double equal to eight. Condition is true. So at here that going inside. Flag is now one. So at here this on display. Eight is found at position. I plus one, so two plus one, three. So output come eight is found at the position of or three. Here after break statement. So break statement when control comes to if flag double equal double equal to zero. So flag is now one. So that not go inside. So output display eight is found at the position or three. Suppose if I say so at your eight is two to two position. So right here, just to comment, break statement. So if we comment, then control that not break the for loop. Now here after I gonna increase by one. So I first time that print eight is found at the position of three. Now here after that continue, then I is increased by three to four. Check the condition four less than six. So eight is the I value is two. Two after I gonna increase by one, so I is three now. Check the condition. Three less than six. Condition is two. So eight double out three position double equal to n one. Three position is four. Equal to eight. Condition is not true. Again, I is increase by one, so I is four. Check the condition. Four less than six. Condition is two. Check at here if eight double out four position double equal to n one. So eight double equal to twelve. Not true. Again, that increases the value of i. So i is five now. Check the condition. Five less than six. Condition is two. That go inside. So it will allow five position double equal to n one. So five position is eight. Eight double equal to eight. Eight double equal to eight. Condition is two. So flag is now become one. And at here, this display, eight is found at the position five plus one six. And here after I gonna increase by one, so I is six now. Check the condition six less than six. Condition is not true, so that not coincide. After if flag double equal to zero, so flag is now I enter one one double equal to zero. Condition is not true, so that not coincide. So here after that output main function. So if you break a statement use, then output come. Eight 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 is found at three position. This one come eight is found at six position. Suppose if you enter any other number like eleven, so uh, when i value is now or uh, reach out to five, here after no any condition is found, so flag value or uh, zero that then at here the output come. Uh, suppose enter i number eleven, eleven is not found in the array, and here after that output main function. 
so this is the giant method of this program so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so thanks for watching see you in next video